Hi guys, welcome back to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. So this is the third of four questions that we are going to do video question and rationales for going over the medication ACE inhibitors. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, make sure you take a look below in the description section because all of the links are right there. So this question is really important for the nurse to pay attention to because it shows you how careful you have to be when discharging a patient. So let's get right into the question and see if you can get it right. Right. Question number three. A client with hypertension has recently been discharged from the hospital due to hyperlipidemia. Before admission, he takes Acupril as his maintenance medication. After discharge, he has instructions to continue his maintenance medication together with his discharge medication. As the nurse case manager reviews the discharge medications, which of the following needs attention of the cardiologist? A. Fish oil supplements. B. Potassium chloride. C. Lipitor or D. Plavix. The answer to this question shows you just how important the discharge instruction and process is. The discharge medication reconciliation done by the discharge doctor, the discharge doctor should have picked up on this but didn't. Never underestimate your role as patient's nurse. You are not less important than a doctor. You must always be ready to think critically as your patient's nurse. You are usually the one that pulls together all of the information. Often your patients are overwhelmed with all the do's and don'ts from different members of the interdisciplinary team that took care of him for the last few days. And frequently their doctor is rushed and cannot spend enough time with him or her to get all of their questions answered. Remember, you are also your patient's advocate, not just his nurse. Answer B in this case is correct. Potassium should not be used in clients with ACE inhibitors because it may significantly increase potassium levels in the blood and could cause hyperkalemia. You should alert this to your doctor and see if there needs to be a change in his home medication list. All right, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that question and I hope that you learned a lot. So if you wanna see more questions related to this drug class, like for example, if you have a test coming up or if you just wanna test your knowledge, then you can look below in the description section because we have more questions available for you on my website. But stay tuned because I'm going to be uploading one more question related to this medication in just a bit. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want, you can also sign up for immediate email updates. All right. I can't wait to see you again soon. I love you so much. Bye.